They have actually been out rebounded oh, on the alley oop in the business end for Cabot Jelly. 98, they had 17 turnovers in that game and seven nets scored in double figures. Very balanced team that the Go-Go faced on Sunday. Not surprising, Chris Dunn with the steal. One of the best at all the G League, but it goes right back to the Celtics and a throw down for Cabot Jelly. The shooting percentage is the big difference. 50% for the Go-Go, just 37% for Maine. Oh, yeah! Oh, Should look familiar, and the reverse for Maine. Cabin Gelly is going to knock down. Just misses it. Celtics yep. running, and the easy throw down. Cabot Gelly. So Bernard had 16 in the first half. Trivia out of Williams, the only other go go in double figures who had 10. And it's that guy right there, Cabot Gelly, who here recently with, with good runs of their own, but then they've given up a big run. So we'll see if they can sustain it here tonight. Shea, shot from the corner, and Mario Shea. Kevin Gelly up top on the business end of the alley-oop. Free throw went in and should have been a wing violation down here. Got to go both ways. Chris Dunn on the spin. Try to give it up to Williams. And a turnover and a foul. Dunn can't hold on to it. Look at Johnny Davis getting back. That time it was an easy dunk. Back to shooting the traditional one and ones in the final two minutes. Yeah, Snell. Shot, shot clock at five. Oh, just wow. a pretty look from Snell to Kevin Gelly. Yeah, and I bet that's the newcomer.